Welcome back everyone to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Japanese lover, Mr. Mocha Lover, and a report from Shanghai. Our operatives in the China agency have informed us that a covert meeting between the Western powers and the CMC, or SMC, has taken place to discuss the issue of Feng Shan receiving Vermilion Society donations and this is surprising news to the Foreign Office. Much of the civilian government wishes to ignore the meeting and let the legations deal with this themselves so they can be unwittingly pushed for Feng Shan further into a grip, though some members of the military have caught us called on us to veto the investigation immediately. Oh boy, what is going on? We still need to demobilize our economy and do an ex-focus, but veto the investigation. Only we are responsible for, for Feng Xian's affairs. Something's wrong. Dead end. Uh, I'll go with that one. Why not? Because we can. And next up, we sh what should we do? We got, have a couple of comments to go through. Host a Tokyo conference? Well, so I recommend we should do that. I would like to pressure Hawaii, but... Well, let's wait for that. Let's wait for that. And I'd like to do land reform. Oh, yeah. Land reform would be pretty darn good to do. But someone did recommend it, so we're going to do it. The Do Tokyo Conference. Pan-Asian thought is generally supported by a large segment of the political classes and is a useful tool regardless. By hosting a major conference in Tokyo and inviting diplomats from all over Asia, we can encourage cooperation between Asiatics against Western imperialism. Cool. And we will be taking this decision here, or, you know, this event, decision, whatever we call it, um, just because we give some free political power. And even though I really do not like going down to war, uh, partial mobilization, I'd rather not take the stability hits up. And let's see, yep. First comment I was going to say, take the Tokyo Conference Street. Alright, well. That's done. Cool. And get over there. Cool, we want to cut off these guys if we possibly can. Like, break over there, break off through Burgos or something. Um, you honestly probably would have more success going this way, to be truth be told, but whatever. And give about eight more days. Oh, what do we have here? Are we, is it ships? Yep, yeah, it's ships. That's fine. I don't mind getting more, some, more, some more war sport too. That could probably be pretty good. Oh. Philippines? Oh, the Philippines? Ah, I'm glad they attended the Tokyo Conference. They didn't have a say regardless. Representatives from the Philippines have arrived in Tokyo and discussions are well underway. Welcome! Whether because you can't tell me no. The Kingdom of Burma attends the Tokyo Conference. Very nice. Welcome as well. And Siam. We love Siam. Anyone else? Would anyone else like to come to the conference? Yes? Yes? You're doing a great job, guys. Great job. And then... Last one. Cool. And I guess I guess we have to do it, my friends. I hate I hate going down this way, but that's what we got to do. I love the production of stuff, but mm, happy 1939, though, everyone. Happy 1939. Ooh, that hurts. Ooh, that hurts. That's all right. We have enough manpower too, anyways. So we're doing relatively okay. And we're down to well, it could be actually a lot worse. Keep building up some civvies, millies, and we got to kill off the Russian Empire eventually. Wow, Austria Hungary is not having a good time. Holy crud. The Polish Republic is doing a pretty nice job, and the Slovenians are doing pretty well as well. I'd hate to be Austria right now. Oh, no, 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 wait, no. The Hungarians are in the Donau Ejibun, so they're getting kind of sandwiched. It literally has their own unique focus tree, huh? So you're the second best navy. Haha. <laughs> Very cool. They must have done stir, uh, stir the spirits. Revolution, execute the operation, light the Slovene fire. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Cool, we got some more comms to go through, as long as we're keeping an eye on... Spanish affairs for now. Cool. Just gonna hang out. These guys have all been cut off, so they're all gonna die. Uh, see, someone recommends we try out the rest, the Manchu restoration in Kaiserreich. Now play someone in eight who's Asian. I think probably like Chinese, probably, most likely. Um, and try out the Manchu restoration. We could eventually. I'm not really sure, but that doesn't um, some, sound too bad. Maybe eventually. I'm not sure, just because I'm not sure what's in the docket for the list of things we want to play. But we'll get there. Oh, there goes people over there. That's fine with us. They're attacking us. Take Burgos, so they literally have zero supply over there. That'd be really, really, really nice. And keep defending. Good. Very good. Uh, after this, it might be best if we kill those guys off next. I think we probably want to hang out right here. Uh, that's fine. Cool. Let's see. Uh, we're almost done with this one. Nice, some more days. And then someone said the Man Mansu Project actually allows you to coup... The Marshal and the Bengxian government. So maybe we'll do the Bamantsu manages the railways of Manchuria and Korea on our behalf and is deeply involved in the economy of the northwest China. As a result, as we expand our influence into the interior and the coast of our Chinese proxy, they're sure to propose increasingly ambitious projects to further develop the region. Not a bad idea. Happy 1939, everyone. Let's grab some better guns. Hope you're having a good year. Anything else you knew? Probably not. No, there is not. And that's okay. Oh, look. Some uh, Union of Britain soldiers are here. Good. Oh, they're down there too. And some French ones too. Ah, oh, we love it, my friends. Kill them off. Evil, evil people. Just don't lose Burgos for now. 
you really want to help out, that's fine. I don't really care. And the summit of Tokyo today saw its first major motion come forward, a fairly uncontroversial one that aims to have all members sign a condemnation of Western colonials' exploitation of Asiatic peoples and urges the repudiation of unequal treaties. We expect to have major support and lead and to lead into the other major business. On the dotted line, if you would. Nice. Followed up with Monsu Projects, which I just read. It's only 35 days, so very nice. Very, very good. Do we have a national spirit for, like, this whole stuff? The National Total Mobilization uh, Ordinance, which is nice. Fruits of the Open Door, nice. The Rising Sun, we can't call an allies unless we're at war with a major power or losing a war, so the Rising Sun's not bad. No bias in the military. Ooh, the Montet Montetsu Profits, nice. Poor land use, which we do have to fix up later on. But that'll come in time. Actually, all the America's doing. Yeah, there's no point in sending them over there. Oh, well, hold on. They're still at war, technically. With oh, they actually annexed the PSA. Or no, PSA annexed the New Englanders. Oh. Okay, I'd hate to be living on the East Coast or in the Eastern Midwest. Good lord, that would really suck. In the, in, the, in that timeline, in the real in the real timeline, eh, it's not not too bad here. But resolution on trade. Therefore, the attendees in the conference agree that in order to promote pan-Asian cooperation and brotherhood, treaties concerning trade should be set up and brought to the top of the national agenda in each nation, with a view towards establishing a common Asian customs area and protecting the economies of Asiatic people from the predatory Western economic principles, which are perfect. They must agree. Absolutely perfect. How many divisions are here? We're attacking three divisions. We're getting pierced. I don't think we have armor on these. Oh, we might have armor. No, we don't know. No recon tanks, so we're not the ones getting pierced. Nice. Calls for deeper economic ties. Asia must succeed. We're preparing a package of memoranda from the Tokyo Conference calling for de deepening economic integration between our economy and those of the attendees. Favorable trade terms, privileges for Japanese companies, and currency exchange me mechanisms, and all more are part of the broader plan presented to the conference. You betcha. Nice. Wow, that sucks for you guys. Too bad you're all going to die. Feng Chien requires requests long tanks. The Feng Chien government has long possessed an advantage against its Chinese rivals thanks to our frequent material aid. In this particular case, we are being asked for light tanks. Although we are currently have no modern tanks available, we can dispatch a shipment of very old Valkyrie gear tanks at no real cost to ourselves. Or we can say nothing at all. I oh, can have the obsolete tanks. That's fine. I don't really care about them. Cool. A military alliance. Final resolution. Ostensibly for anti-colonial purposes, the time has now arrived to bring the remaining conference attendees on board the full military lines to oppose their rivals. Far better let the blows fall on them, after all. If you wish for peace, then prepare for war. Ah, so the Philippines and others align with Japan. It seems that the statesman of the Kingdom of Siam has agreed that their path to prosperity and strength comes from cooperation with the preeminent power of Asia, the J Empire of Japan. We shall making arrangements to bring them into the formal military alliance that underpins the great e greater East Asian co-prosperity sphere, great as well as the Philippines. And Burma, all three of them joined. Oh, that's actually pretty good, it seems like. Very nice, good job. A pat on the back for everyone around. Cool. Beat them up and go here, and then maybe just go straight for La Coruña, and then capitulate them that way. And they... Well, this one is almost done. There we go. More military factories, please. Thank you. And we'll put you right there. Because we can. Oh, look at that. Invite the, um, they already did join, I thought, so if you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead, but they've accepted. They've accepted. Making ourselves stronger, 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 my friends. Look at that. Uh, not good enough yet. We need some actual Chinese, like, forces under us. And the Bharatiya Commune isn't doing so well, it looks, but that's all right. And we do have, we did take out Pakistan. Pakistan. No, not Pakistan. Not yet. We did, because they don't exist, but, uh, the Philippines last time. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. What's up next? Ship designer is 39. Navy. <sighs> Chief of Staff. Max Entrenchment Artillery. Well, our divisions. This is the main division. We're still using 18 combo with it, which is not good enough. What are we producing? we got plenty of guns. We need artillery. Focus more on artillery, actually, right now. There we go. Keep it down to 5. We're going to focus way, 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 way more artillery right now. Because if I do this, we have way less. So, as much as that is good, as much as I like that one too, artillery attack, production cost goes down. we got to go with that one. Help us produce, 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 produce. Nice. Very nice. This is probably a really risky gamble, but we could try it anyway, regardless, you know, whatever. I'll have one guy hold in. And actually, you know, go go here first. And 
encircle and destroy these guys. We'll see what happens. Hey, what the heck? Ah, I'm about to be go there. Go, go ahead. Take Bell Bow and I can't get any more supplies then. Nice. Hopefully they don't join the Entente, but I have a good feeling they will, so it really sucks, but whatever. Uh, guys, could you go up there, please? It doesn't matter. We're going to win anyways. Nice. Matetsu Projects, and then the Osaka Conference, right? Os Osaka Economic Bureau. In Osaka, one of our major industrial cities, and a historic trade hub, we've decided to set up a commission drawn from all over Asia. Its duties are mainly concerned the economic ties between members of the Greater East Asian Co Prosperity Sphere. By putting resources into this, we can promote autarky and economic self confidence amongst Asians and extend our influence over them further. Great. Beautiful. Keep building, guys. Keep building. We only have 94 factories, which is just really not good. <laughs> really not good. All right, go and hold for now there. That's fine. Get some more organization first. That's totally fine. Oh, look at this. Monta 2 Project, they manage railways in Manchuria and Korea on our behalf and is deeply involved in the economy of Northwest China as a result. As we expand our influence on the interior and coast of the, our Chinese proxy, they are sure to propose increasingly ambitious projects to develop the region. Alright. I want to see, uh, seize Tianjin, but we can't do that yet. Oh, man. Cool. Zhang's Proclamation. Grand Marshal Zhang of the Fang Chian government has proclaimed that within a year, this nation will begin its war of national reclamation to retake the South and reunify the country under his leadership, of course. Our aid has played a great role in getting Feng Chiang to where it is today. And already some ministers are suggesting that we make a private comment or commitment to joining the war. This will be in our interest as Feng Chiang has the best means of pushing German influence out of China, but at the same time, it might be best to limit their ambitions and our resources are not limitless. The Grand Marshal will, of course, push on regardless. His legitimacy depends on it. Um, it sounds like if we let him unite, he might backstab us, which is probably going to happen, so you know, let's do it. We don't want to look like the victims here, right? We want to look like the victims. Sometimes you got to think about your optics. Nice. Give him one more time to get more organization, and they'll start attacking here again eventually, so. And they're going to be shipped out. That's fine. And, oh, the Russians are here, too. Oh, magnetic dinner. That's pretty good. Oh, uh, let's grab some of that. Grab some of that. Fuel is looking really delicious right now. Actually, how are we doing with ships? Um... Are you guys all done training? You might be. Keep training. Well, it feels that good. Let's get some artillery then. Beautiful. And there goes the fuel. I can't imagine we could really win here, but you know what? With some Spanish allies, we'll do relatively okay. Hopefully. Good, good, good. And the Osaka Economic Bureau. Integrate the greater aging economy after we get to some dispersed stuff here. Let's grab some improved oil processing. Oh, so economic power is a key to all. And with undisputed mastery over Asia at our disposal, we can begin the process we started in Osaka, tying the economies of East Asia closer to us in order to make them subject to our will. We may now take decisions to promote investment in our member spheres, which over time can lead to Japanese control over the country. I love it. We're going to need more political power probably for that. Because we need to help develop a lot more things around here, too. Hey, we took the Bilbao region. Nice. Uh, Hobbin Chemical Plants. Oh, they get some refineries. Industrial area. Jilin. So, down there, they get some more stuff. Develop Anqing's Industries. Minor Road Investments. Oh, look at that. Into our economic sphere. Yes. I'd rather do that. I'd rather develop our potential allies than anyone else, really. Feng Chian, I don't really support them too much, but Simon's agreed. They've seen the wisdom and economic benefit that becoming part of our economic sphere would bring. They've agreed to our terms. Great. Philippines have agreed, as well as Burma. We got all that political power back immediately. Nice. Really good. Um, I don't mind building up roads, even if they don't like us. In the future, if we take them out, like... Having those roads would be slightly better than not having the roads, so whatever. We're gonna take, we're gonna build the roads, even if we can't use them for our own advantage right now. Totally fine with us. Okay, well, the Beijing government. Someone said, "Can you play as or try out the Yunnan clique in this mod?" I mean, yeah, we can. 
I don't know when I'm going to do that. I just, like I said, there's there's so many things going on that I'm not really sure. The fifth Zili Fengshin War. I guess we could send volunteers if we really feel like it. Do we want to feel like it? Maybe we do. Get some Marines in, but I'm going to send in some cavalry. Under this guy. Zhang Zulin. <clears throat> How is air looking right now? Uh, do we have any extra spare planes? Yes, we do. Right, how many planes can we send? 40. That is not much, huh? And maybe let's get some more air XP, you know? Oh, they do actually do have some interceptors. Well, that kind of sucks, but we're doing damage, so that's what the most important thing to do, I suppose. Oh, are they actually pushing in? They're actually pushing in a little bit. Okay. Well, it gave him some obsolete tanks, so that should help him out, right? Shandong requests cadet training. Zhang Zongchang, governor of Shandong, sent a formal request that we induct his young cadets into our prestigious military academies. Although we certainly accepted Chinese students in the past, and now many serve across China, they have usually served in the army of a recognized national government. Zhang Zongchang, a notorious criminal, bohemian, and a mere provincial governor, finally fails to meet these standards. However, except the payment for his services may be considerable. So be it. I want a good payout. These guys aren't quite cut off yet. It's by promoted. Don't really care about that. Come on, guys. I know these guys. Actually, how are you, are you getting supplies? Huh. The Germans are... Oh, no. Yeah, those are the Germans. The Germans are here. And we were defeated immediately. It's all right. You guys are here literally just to hold the line. That's all they really care about right now. Do we have another field marshal for you? Nope. Maybe we should get another one then. There you go. Imamura Hitoshi. Be offensive. There you go. Oh, they ended their hostilities. Oh, that's not good. Austria, you're looking really weak. Yeah, it's kind of sad, Austria. That was disgusting. You got Drava and you kept Trieste and Istria, but you lost Slovenia. This is disgusting. What the heck? Hungary. Oh my gosh, you have a little. Oh, I'm not sure what to call this. It's like a cancerous growth sticking out. Oh, this is disgusting. Why, what happened to Galicia or Little Maria? What the heck is this? Why? Why? <laughs> why do, do you, must, why must you be so disgusting? Um, who do we want to kill? Oh, uh, we'll probably kill off these guys first. Well, maybe we should stop having the, train, the ships train so much. So you guys do that. Go home. And then, oh, I said Australasia. There's to two times more factories in the Confederation as well as in the, uh, Oh, the Princess of the Federation does not exist, so we'll kind of keep going over here then. Uh, land reform. Land use is, uh, is highly inefficient in Japan. Nearly all the fact factions agree that something must be done, though what exactly prompts much disagreement. Nevertheless, if we are to realize our full economic might, we must solve this issue. Pretty much. Pretty much. The Great Doubt of 1939. Countries in the middle of the worst drought it has seen in the century. Water supplies are dangerously and critically low, and crops are dying of thirst. In some regions, oh, there goes Detroit. Local officials are organizing rain, making rituals, in a desperate attempt to evoke storms and calm the people to no avail. Fortunately, the drought is mostly affecting southern Korea, where eastern Honshu and the southern islands, and although rice harvests have dropped significantly, no state of famine has developed, however, the disruption to food production from the drought is severe enough to force to close down several rice exchanges, including the famous Dojima Rice Exchange, and control the rice supply directly, at least for the time being. At least no one is starving yet, which is not good, but, you know, it's not good that that has happened, so let's move over there. Supply is pretty bad. Or can develop to become quite undesirable. Oh, they're attacking. Oh, they're definitely trying to attack now. Can you guys actually win down there? No. I'm just here to defend for now. And if these guys take over our puppet, maybe we can just go straight to war with those guys. That'd be kind of nice. You know, that'd be kind of nice. Kind of would like that. Oh, the Irish are fighting for the Spanish. Um, Salamanca? Salamanca. Salamanca? Yeah, we'll just do that and circle and destroy them down there. Easy peasy, right? Promote investment in the Kingdom of Burma. National spirit. Economic penetration low. Sure, why not? We'll penetrate you. Cool. Hope you guys are learning a lot. We still have no fuel. Hmm. Get some more anti air. Be good. Yeah. We can get one more from the PSA. All right, head on home. There we go. Now we're getting more fuel. 
Our armies are ready. Korea is hopefully not going to ever rebel. Just in case. And how's it looking over here? Looking swanky. Not too bad. I love the Marines. Pretty dangerous doing it like this, but hey, whatever. And there you go. How are you guys looking? Are, oh, he's learning a lot. Look at General Itaga, Itagaki Seishiro. Nice. Oh, yeah, they're definitely trying to push in quite hard. Uh, what's their strength like of the Beijing government under VK Wellington Coup? Million manpower, which is expected. A lot of divisions. You guys have not nearly as many and not nearly as much manpower, but hey, we'll see what happens with you guys. Um, tanks, medium tanks. Yeah, we want to get some medium tanks eventually, too. That'd be kind of nice. Don't have the industry for it, but hey, eventually. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe not. Still building up military factories, civilian factories, all sorts of good stuff. Man, how's... How, these guys are 20 combat with. That's pretty good. Maybe with these horses, we could throw on some engineers. We should have enough support equipment. Yep. And artillery. Yep. Nice. Very nice. Anything else? Military hospitals might not be bad. Maybe some cavalry equipment. Yeah, why not? Or some Rigana cavalry equipment. Uh, Anti-air actually would probably be pretty nice as well. There you go. Just in case. A little more soft attack. You know, not perfect, but it'll work. Feng Chan, can you please stop attacking like crazy? That'd be quite delightful. Thank you very much. Four more enemy divisions go bye bye. And we've made another one or two divisions. Love it. I'm sorry for all the zooming in, zooming out like crazy, but it's not looking too good. Eh, you're gonna lose that tile, it's okay. Go ahead and head on out, guys. You're doing okay. At this point, uh, those guys are just running out of guns like crazy, probably, I bet. You should be able to win there with two Marines. Or, you could just be smarter and go here, here. There you go. Militia is not super strong, and Marines get a, a less of a penalty to attacking over a river. It's all penalty, but still. Nice, good job, guys. Oh, Arasakas. Uh, we have enough, yeah, we have enough Arasakas, good. There you go. Help them out. Help. Maybe you can encircle these guys. That'd be really good, actually. Quite good. Now we're looking down here. Just don't get encircled, guys. That's the biggest issue I have with uh, fighting down here. He's hopefully learning a lot more. Because, man, he, they, the Beijing government's attacking like crazy. Woo! Fall of New York City? Oh, boy. I love land reform. Now, support the Zaibatsus. While well, times have been also involved in much corruption, we must be careful when dealing with them. Eh, that seems okay. Nationalization policy. Program of nationalization will lock the following companies. Oh boy. Bureaucratic economy. Japan uses motor companies. Ooh, they might not like that. Maximum infrastructure. I like that a lot. But, let's see. Republic of Korea is a subject and owns them. Chosen modernization. I think I want to do a nationalization policy, just because that seems pretty nice. Uh, for far too long, the Zabatuns and foreign imperials have deceived and exploited our people for the personal profit. Let us take control of the economy, nationalize economy for the good of Japan, or get down a bureaucratic economy. Um, I mean, I like that. I love the maximum infrastructure, but I'm still building up infrastructure anyways, and I don't want to piss off the P PSA too much, so... Uh, and we still get four more civilian factories, four more civilian factories, six more military factories, so I'll, we're going to go with the nationalization policy. Cool. What else can we do here? This promotes... Oh, land reform. Oh, crud. Land readjustment act. Moderately advanced, yes. Land reform has been an ongoing issue in Jap Japanese politics for nearly 70 years. We are not the first... Not the first to attempt to resolve the issue, and if we're not careful, we will not be the last. So the more effort and time we put in, the more likely it is for our efforts to bear fruit. Though we are free to declare an end to a program at any such time, Alaska requests help. Today, a telegram came in from the West. Alaska has been recently been threatened by the Canadian High Command, as an invasion of Alaska is imminent. The only protection Alaska has is us. Should we lend them a helping hand? Oh, I've been told. Oh, crap, they're a syndicate. Um, that these guys are not bad, and they can actually join our faction this way. Uh, what was this one? The planning board incident. Seven team members of the cabinet planning board were arrested and indicted of organizing a popular front with the government today. That sucks. 
with strings attached with conditions. Um, they're not that strong, I bet. Yeah, they're not that strong. I don't want to go to war with the Entente, but by God, if I have to, I will. American refugees, which makes sense. Alaska, the last frontier. Alaskan syndicate. Uh, okay. Territory guard. Um, get more attack. Nothing. Uh, Alaskan air militia is not bad. Four to ten divisions. They don't have that much of a fleet. Huh. Are you really going to attack Alaska? Mr. Handsome Edward VIII. They're fighting the CSA. They're fighting the Americans. They're fighting the Baratia Commune. Uh, Puerto Rico is looking pretty crazy there. And we would be able to take out Hawaii that way. Because they are in their sphere. And they will get, go to war with the Union of Britain anyways. We're going to defend them. Down with these people. Down, down, down to the Western Imperialists. Which means, at the Entente, we will have to probably go fight through the Baratia Commune. Fight through Burma, oh god no. Fight through there, and get down to the Entente areas down here. The Deshis Indies though, they are a puppet of these guys. And these guys are over here, and they are in the Reich's pack. No, they're actually by themselves. Hmm. If I don't go to war with them, it'd be a lot more difficult to do stuff. Hmm. And we do have armies ready to go, so. I guess we'll have to wait and see. If... I don't want to fight the Reich's pack and Entente at the same time, but... Okay! They join the Entente. They just become a Dominion. What the heck? Alright, well... I gave you my guarantee. God, as an American, that's disgusting. But alright, I guess we're not going to go to war with them. I guess, my, like I said earlier, my main goal is to go to war with Russia and beat the crap out of them. Because they're pieces of garbage to us. Save you to, like, help make sure we don't get encircled. And you guys are just going for La Coruña. Did they get Bilbao again? Where's the capital? Burgos. Oh, god dang it. Nope. You hold. They might attack us and move something. So. Anti-air upgrades. Nice. Ah, oh, radar's pretty good to get. I'm glad. so glad we have five research slots. That's so nice. Don't lose that airbase. As you can tell, I don't really care about the Chinese front too much, so... Yeah, they, le they left. Good. They might want to try to encircle us, but we'll see what happens. We'll beat them up and we'll do okay. Come on. Seriously, guys, you, you kind of suck. Yemen has capitulated, alright. I'm just going to hang out. Actually, go right there. You might be actually encircle these guys once again. Also, it's ultimatum. Cool. God dang it. Second Valkyrie, cool. Okay, we seriously got seriously encircled here. Holy crap. It's not good. At least we got La Coruña. Can you guys hurry up and win this stupid war? We got Burgos. Why did you lose Bilbao? Come on. Cool. And we got supplies coming through here too. Hey, there we go. We got him. Wait, no, we didn't. Yeah, we did. Okay. Woo! Yeah, dummies. Yeah, dummy, dummy, dummies. Uh, let's see. We got enough oil for now. Cool. Keep building, building, building. Uh, let's build some more refineries here too. That'd be nice. At least one more refineries. We get some more rubber as well, which is pretty good to get. We'll go join the Rikes pack. Well, good for you guys. How's it going around here? Excavation is pretty nice. Let's grab some more rubber as well, because we're going to need that when we build more stuff up. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Can you guys actually win there? It doesn't look like it. Just keep defending. No, go. No, no. Let's do that. There you go. Could develop these guys, but nah, we're okay for now. I want to invest in more of these people. Um, have I invested in both these guys? Is it peace? Oh, I like to do more reforms though. Wow, it takes a while to do. Oof. Oh, these guys are attacking up here like crazy. Well, at least the Reichsbeck's going crazy. And Austria Hungary, the Austrian Empire. Okay. What, what happened to Italy here? Why are you disconnected? Why do you own Verona or Venetia, Austria? And you. Oh my goodness. It's disgusting. Quite disgusting, my friends. Oh, yucky, yucky. 
This is Marines are veterans. Wow. I you learn something, the, drake, the drought takes a toll. With well, the nation's rural areas already struggling after the last decade, this drought has served to further impoverish farmers and bankrupt light industries built on agricultural produce. The drought's effects seem to likely to continue for some time. Shoganai? Oh my goodness. Not good. Not good at all. Can I get involved in this? Oh, French state. Yeah, there you go. That one's going to work them. Uh, let's see. Nothing around here. The exiles will no longer be so. Cool. How is the old empire? I don't know, but we're going to claim the resource, send the resource area next, because I think that's probably the best thing to do. Every single island in the Pacific, not held by the Japanese, could act as a staging point to invade our home islands. The German Empire has no right to any of these islands, and should it come to this, the Japanese Imperial Navy will send them running back to the Kaiser. Okay, a claim of Malaya, East Indies, and all the non-American Pacific islands, which is a good thing. Hopefully we don't end up at war, but hey, if we do, well, the Reich's Pact, the Entente, and the Third International are all really ready to kill each other. Oh man, I should really go kill Russia too, but whatever. A great drought. How do you get rid of that? Russia is seemingly recovering? Oh, that's not good. There goes Washington. Bye, Washington. Uh, what's going on over here? Oh! Wow, the uh, Canadians wanted to annex Michigan. Okay. I don't know if it was that valuable, but okay. Alright, what's going on down here? Do we have more options now? Maybe, maybe not? Yeah, I mean, we could do this stuff. I don't really feel like investing in them, though, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'd rather keep my civilian factories for myself. Build ourselves up a little bit more. You know? Build more roads ourselves. Oh, Edward abandons the throne. Goodbye! Goodbye, dude. 100% nice. There we go. Hmm. Are they a piece? Are they not a piece? I want more moderate penetration. Let's see. Low. Cool. Cool. Oh, they're still attacking like crazy. How do you not learn anything yet, man? How are you not an infantry leader or anything like that? Give me some volunteers to other people, I suppose, but nah, we're okay for now. If we'd have those malicious members, that'd be nice. And keep going north, 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 west, northeast, I mean, northeast, uh, so that we can cut all these guys off, and that'd be, that would spell the end of the commune. You guys are doing okay as well. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, I hate to be in Europe right now, that's okay. That's why we're in Asia. Yep, just let it, give them some time. That's all you need to do. Give them some time. You actually win there. That'd be pretty nice if you could win there. Good. What's not to love about this? Hmm. Railroads. There you go. Do more railroads. Why not? Cool. Air defense is great. Try to get the East Indies, Indochina, or issue colonial ultimatum. Mm. It, by doing this one, we can isolate Australasia. Yeah, why not? The co-prosperity sphere's grip on trade in the Pacific is strong. We should showcase this via punitive sanctions on the imperialistic outpost of European colonialism, that is the Australasian Confederation. Nice. I always hate invading them, but you know what? With us over here and them dealing with affairs in Europe and such like that. And since we're based here anyways, it's really not nearly as bad as I as it normally is, so. At least according, in my mind, it isn't as bad, so. Yep, this starving enemies of supplies really helps out, you know? It is still 39, let's grab some better engineers, because we can, I love engineers. Engineers are so important. Um, you guys winning here? No, I mean, technically, if you keep attacking, they can't do anything, so. And these guys are all starving, so. Yay! Well, we have no stability, do we? Weekly change plus 0.4, that is really not good. It's not good having a drought. You know, who knew? 38 days left. Yeah, when does this drought end? My goodness. Hey, better radar, nice. Because soon enough, we're going to research. Uh, you know, it's almost 19. Eh, I'm going to do that one. 1940, we want some 
new ships, new planes, better infantry equipment, you know, all the works. Fall Barcelona, and they're gone. Good job, guys. Now I feel comfortable sending some divisions somewhere else. Which, I'm not sure who to. I don't really care for the German Empire. I hate the Russians right now, so we'll figure that out hopefully very soon. An independent Indochina did not align with our strategic plans for the region. We must make a move to secure it as soon as possible. Now, because of that, where are our soldiers? We have our three divisions, or I guess two Marines here once again. I'll just put you over here because we can. Uh, Indochina. Huh. Hmm. Indochina. Jamaica's gone. Kingdom of Finland is gone. Oh, boy. I would love to go to war with the Russians right now, but I'm just not really sure if that's going to be really in our best ability right now. But I do want Indochina, so that'd be really nice. The Australasian Confederation retaliates. The Australasian government has imposed tariffs back on us. This gives us precisely the cast ability we're hoping for. Um, I guess we could go to war with them. Mm. Can we afford a war with the Entente? I don't want to fight the Entente, really. I really don't feel like it. <laughs> I'll be completely honest. I really don't feel like it. The PSA, I mean, honestly, we try to help them out, but they're probably going to be joined by the... Uh, yeah, they're going to probably join the Entente eventually. Mm. Well, the way it's looking right now... The Rex Pact is slightly doing okay. They took for done. But again, beaten up by the Eurasian block quite a bit. These guys are still holding out here, though. I'm just worried about the Entente doing too well. But, you know what? We need to have a good old time, right? We're going to go to war. Finally, some sort of action for us to have a good old time with each other. All right, you guys are doing that. And there you go. All you guys are going to do that would be very nice. And let's have a little bit of conflict in our lives. Uh, go do that, maybe. Maybe. Good luck as well. And then you guys head on down here, 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 and then one, two, three. Okay, not bad. And our forces are coming back, which is fine. Oh, improve river processing. Maybe we should not have gone to war, but at least let us take out Australasia. Let's get some better planes, too, since we're at it here. All right. Yes. We like the Third International. We love the Third International. They did, never did anything wrong. Never, 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 never. At this point, we might as well go for these guys too, so. We're gonna need way more fuel. We're gonna need a lot more fuel. Um, yeah. So done there. How about you guys do this region? And anything you can find, just blow up the enemy ships, and we're gonna need a lot more fuel. Holy crap. Holy cow. Hey, the first little couple convoys have been sunk. That's nice. Fuel wise, yeah, we're gonna need way more. Um, PSA. Is there anyone else we can import it from? I don't want to import it from Russia. American Union states a little too far. Venezuela, German Empire. Yeah, this was pretty far away. Persia, though, might be able to do really well. Let's lower our dependency on these guys by that much. And we're going to need more fuel anyways. Wow, we're pretty much done with all this stuff, huh? Let's go ahead and build up some more here and there. So one, two, three, and then build up some more military factories right there too. Cool. Just because we're gonna need uh, way more fuel. Way, 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 way more fuel. Um, Grand Peru, huh? I don't want to do it, but I don't mind doing this. I really don't mind doing it right now because we need we need more fuel. So hopefully this will go by pretty quickly, and we can take into China and then go to war with them. Or at least maybe after this, we can take out or target the East Indies. That'd be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Oh, Legation Cities. Oh, okay, that's right. The Legation Cities. Oh, we can do that too with them. Alright, so they did join them off screen, so... Alright, I guess we'll go there. Nice. You guys can go and stop training. You three, come on. Do that. Nagasaki, invade Shanghai if you can. Which means we're going to need to pull some soldiers over around here too, which is fine. Other Marines, you guys come from uh, here as well. So, one, two, three. Hong Kong. Oh, can we not do any more divisions here? There you go, that's nice. And then you guys go from here and invade Ningbo. Thank you. Go, 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 go. When you can, of course. We need a little bit more fuel. Oh, those guys are back as well. Um, if that's the case, if you guys... I don't mind you guys being over here as well, because that's pretty much the extent of our operations. I'm going to pull you guys out of here. For, no, we need you here. Do that area. Do 
do that earlier too. I need you guys up here as well. There you go. And we're pretty much out of fuel, which is just really, really bad. Cool. Ah, <sighs> there's no one close by that we can get more fuel from, is there? Well. Well, that sucks. The Navy takes way too much fuel. You know what? Here's what we're going to do them. Happy guys. Split. Goodbye. And then you guys do not do anything. You guys go home. We should still do okay here, though. Cool. Pretty much ready to go whenever. And that should save us just a spot more fuel, which would be hopefully pretty okay. Hopefully we can take some of these legation cities. We wanted them anyway, so... Oh, that sucks. They still have soldiers there. Oh, boy. I should have sent more soldiers this way. They got soldiers all over the place. But they have nowhere they can go, so... Hmm. Hey, they're actually waiting over here. If you force the attack, you, you could actually probably win. Force the attack. Because they can't get any organization. Neither can we. I mean, we're losing strength by doing this, but... Oh, well. Because look at that. Their organization is dropping like crazy, and I love it. Come on. Come on. Break them. Break them. At least break one of them. I should probably send more than just one division to naval invade, though. Yeah, that's probably... Come on. At least get Fu's Ho, right? All right. Bring the Siam to the fold. Nice. Target into China. Target the East Indies next. For centuries, the islands of the East Indies have toiled for their Dutch colonial rulers. Its vast resources linking, lining European pockets. This practice must end. We shall liberate these assets for the co-prosperity sphere where they rightfully belong. Come on. Can you at least win somewhere? Oh, I sunk some more convoys, which is nice. You guys sucked. Wow. That sucks. Sucks to suck. Horses. Come on, horses. Oh, my goodness. You guys all suck. Jesus Christ. There's no point in ever using you, then. Are you back home yet? Come on. Tuck your tail between your legs. Yeah, man. These guys suck hard. Jesus. Oh, uh, let's see. Both of you. Pathetic. We give them a few more days, and we'll do this. Throw you guys over here. Uh, Russian Republic can't give us any more fuel. Oh, bye bye then. Ah, Mexico. We love Mexico. There we go. More fuel. More fuel. Where are you guys at? Okay. That's alright. Good evening, Bonex. You should be able to do that pretty easily then. Sink them. Hopefully, the Third International does very, very well. That's my biggest hope right now. Let's see, anything else? And in the Army Initial Land Reform. Remove some more support. Moderately advanced. So current land reform is doing okay. Rank control. Significantly advanced things. That sounds pretty bad to do. But we'll do it anyways. Oh, there goes the American Empire, which was the American Constitutional Republic. But, you know, fall of Atlanta. Goodbye. Gonna wait for you guys to do okay. And go. Well, if you can, you got a few more days left. Hopefully by then they'll have enough support to do so. And then are you guys ready to go? Six more days. Go when you can. Horses. Uh, we'll wait for you guys. That's fine. We can't give you the goods. Mexico. Mexico. We said we loved you. And we do. But only if you can give us the goods that we want. Because my gosh, that navy sucks up so much fuel. Holy cow. I just think it's some divisions. That's nice. How many men have we lost? 9,000? Call everyone in. Good. Oh, look, the Entente's lost quite a few. We've killed off 53,000 uh, Legation City members, which is very good. So that's all done for now. It's 1940. Happy 1940. Let's get some more research speed. Convoys go bye-bye. Yeah, no, you're going to force the attack. I don't care what happens. You're going to kill every single last one of them off. Or I'll personally see to it that you never uh, survive another day. Oh, let's see anything else here. No, all right, all right. Keep taking the convoys. Come on, Marines. Anything else? No? Alright, alright. More infantry? And oh, we've got the infantry just in case. We need a big old, you know, land war, but still. Um, go with Ambusher because it gives you more entrenchment, and that's just for pretty much everybody. <sighs> I'm not sure where to put you guys. 
That's kind of like a hodgepodge crew of extra members that we got, so. Extra general, thank you. And then an extra infantry division will be right there. Actually, we'll probably send you up to Osaka, maybe? There you go. Maybe? Let's see. At least they won that one. Thank goodness. All right. And then you guys come from here and then help invade Shanghai. And we'll do a double attack right there. Target the East Indies and target India. See if India... Decisions a good war against battle targets in India. Burn to ash strategy. Reduce their influence in the Fengchen government, making it easier for them to oppose us in the future. Recruit collaborators. We could honestly use that for uh, more non-core manpower. I kind of like that a lot, actually. Yeah, let's go do that one. Chinese manpower is an unfortunate necessity for victory. If we are to rally enough forces to take all of China or conquered regions, must provide soldiers as well as resources. Good. Indonesia stands alone. Unable to, or willing, unwilling to get help, Indonesia now sits alone. The military is a fraction of their size of ours, and our leaders are weak. Nothing shall stop them, or nothing shall stop us for them. Nice, we get a war goal against them. Beautiful. I want to finish these guys off first. They're pissing me off a little bit. Not too much, though. Not too much. Just a wee bit. Come on, Mexico. Don't don't tease me. It's such a good time. Oh, uh-oh. Hey, oh, just the convoy. That's fine. Yeah, we just have our subs down here, so they're doing a good job. And we actually might be getting some fuel, which is really, really good. All right, you guys ready to go? Oh, you guys are already going. You guys ready to go? You guys ready to go? Yeah, about a little more than a week left. Ningbo will be ours. Good, good, good. We've lost 11,000. Versus 66,000. Not bad. Hopefully Canada will fall. The French state, as long as the Third International wins, the French state will collapse. It will absolutely collapse. But then again, that, that would only be determined if Germany can beat them up, which they might be able to. They might be able to, so you never know. So if they don't, we're kind of in for a not good time. Engineers are nice. 1940. Let's grab some radar, but really, more research speed with nuclear attack. Alright, you guys ready? You guys good? You also invade here, too. You good? You good? I mean, it would help if I did some planes over here, but the range is so bad. We just don't have the range for all this stuff, you know? And that costs more fuel that we don't really have. Look at that. The range, not very good. And what else do we have here? We don't have a lot of things, honestly. Like, Japan's industry is not very large. So, oh well. Oh, who can't give me the goods? Oh, what's going to happen now? Well, let's, let's keep an eye on the battle. Oh, I love advanced machine tools. Better planes. We could do that stuff. Let's grab some naval bombers as well for our carriers. That'd be good. All right, so we've landed. They have five divisions here. Hmm. Let's see. Well, that's not good. All right, Marines, you got to go in. You got to win no matter what happens. I don't want to end up losing this one Marine division, so. Come on, come on, break through. Uh, you guys go there. Go and train us some more if we really need to. Come on, come on. You gotta break them. Break their flipping divisions. They're not that strong. They're probably garbage divisions. They have a little bit of artillery and that's it. Oh, sure, we'll take some rifles. Oh, we're out of infantry equipment now? That's not good. Come on, land, 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 land. What are you taking so long for? Okay, Mexico. I'm sick of Mexico already. <laughs> I don't want to import more from the PSA, but if we have to, so be it. Get the heck out of here, you piece of garbage. Come on, Calvary. You've got to win here. You've got to win. There is no waiting for you. I, we, we, sent two, we already lost one division here. Come on, come on, come on. Why are you taking so long to do anything? All right, this is stupid. You literally killed off my Marines, you stupid horse divisions. I'm going to make sure they all die. But, uh, let's see. Operation Ichigo? Mm, I guess we could do that. Well, you know what? Let's do some more of this stuff first. Let's nationalize heavy industry. After the breakup and nationalization of the Zaibatsu, we control most of the heavy industry in the country, but not all. Some companies are below Zaibatsu level in prominence, but still major firms. To achieve total state control, it would be necessary to nationalize them. This is stupid. 
This is such a waste of time. A god-awful waste of time. You killed off two Marine Divisions, Cavalry. I hope you're happy. I hope they're so flippin' happy because they just literally killed off their own men. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna nuke them. Screw it. You wanna live here? You wanna stay here? <laughs> That's absolutely retarded. Completely stupid. Are you kidding me? Shanghai is not that well defended. It is not that well defended. I swear to God, it is not. That pisses me off. I'm sorry, guys, but that pisses me the hell off. I'm going to switch you guys around. Uh, yeah, you guys go over here. That's better. That makes more sense. <clears throat> Alright, so if that's the case, build this area up. This is just retarded. It, no, no, no. I'm going to kill every single last Western Imperialist, whether it, they like it or not, so. Oh, man. They, they wished we were going to be nice to them. Oh, my goodness. Save that and go with anti-air, maybe? Maybe? Come on out, Legation Cities. Come on out. Try your worst. I'm going to sink every single one of you pieces of crap. You're going to wish you, you would have died in Shanghai. Uh, Serbia and Illyria. Okay, then. I think we're out of guns, right? I think we are. Cool. Well, after that little, uh, not fun time. Oh, we got plenty of... Oh, yeah, we got, we're gonna have more than enough guns. What we're about to do with this. Oh, once we have enough. Army XP. You're gonna go straight back to Shanghai and just destroy them. These horses are pathetic. I really don't like these guys. They're just pathetic. Cancel Lend Lisa. Oh, we must, must be out of our little shortage there. I'm not going to go to war with these guys, the Dutch East Indies, until we, we're done with Shanghai. So, that is just beyond stupid. Did we get Hong Kong? I thought we already did. Hold on. We need these guys back down here. Come on. Find them and sink them. We don't need more garrisons, too. Hmm. These are the garrisons that we've been given. Oh, God dang it. I, I hate not having enough army XP. Hmm. Initiate land reform. That's fine. Keep going with that stuff. Uh, war propaganda would be nice, but not really needed. Oh, let's do this one. Too. Finally, war economy again. Good, 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 good. Alright, so send all your planes over here. And if, is there a button to genocide? Because I could really use that right now. God dang it, they're doing the entente. Well, we help them out, and then they betray us. You know what? Get the naval bombers out. Bomb everything in the, in the ocean near them. Grand Assault's nice. After we help you, you betray us like that. How dare you. Oh well. Ah, let's go with infiltration. Because we want less supply consumption. Persia? Well, Persia usually not having issues with us with that stuff. So. It was enabling invading. Yeah, we're going to need some new serious nukes. They're out of manpower, so that's good. Anything they throw in... Oh, they, they won't get any more strength after that, so. Alright. Uh, marine. Yeah, we're going to make more marine, marine divisions. Because the idiot cavalry can't do jack squat. Come on. Okay, why are you lagging so hard? What's going on? Did someone capitulate? Oh, someone must have capitulated. Holy crap, did someone already die? No, Austria? Pfft. No, what? No. That's not hard enough. Why would you intervene? You're still losing your war. <laughs> Ah, uh, the AI, I swear to God, man, the AI is real dumb. Real dumb sometimes. But then again, I guess so am I. Let's see, Persia? Well, alright. Uh, Mexico, I don't trust Mexico, because... Oh, they're starting to lose a lot there. Still looking okay here, still looking okay. The Marines are almost done, Austria declares war. Well, yeah, no, I don't think they'll be really able to do anything there. Just saying. Man, Japan is not easy. It's never easy to play as Japan just because they're so incredibly weak. They had an okay navy, but other than that, not really much else. Oh, why did I put you there? What the heck? What am I doing? There you go. A few more days, that's fine. Let them do whatever they need to do. Uh, if I throw you on... That's going to drastically increase our fuel usage, which sucks. Yeah, we still need war prop. We don't need war prop again yet, so we're still doing okay there.
I wonder, with two these two divisions, can you do anything? I mean, they're out of manpower, so. Find any enemy ship and just sink the living hell out of them. Are the Marines off? Yeah, they are. They're going to immediately lose? Yeah, I don't think so. Not with air superiority and such, so. And their strength, I mean. <sighs> this is annoying. I'll be honest, this is incredibly annoying. Hey, we sunk this guy, though. That's nice. Is that the flag of Australasia? That is. Central Australia, huh? They have no manpower left. They have two to six divisions. They have a pretty good fleet, though. A pretty good fleet. Pretty good fleet for them. Well, these Marines suck. They're god-awful. But we're going to nationalize the aircraft industry. The aircraft industry is a vital part of our national defense and is thus too important to be left in private hands. All military aircraft manufacturers must be nationalized and reformed into arsenals or merged into military-controlled factories. In addition... These are just blueprints. This is, this is, there needs to be more here. I'm thinking, just just for the Navy? Blueprints is not enough. For the Japanese? Is that all you get of blueprints? Even base game Hoi 4 has more for the Navy, like buffs and you know, maybe even debuffs. Like, that's... This is, this feels lacking. It just feels lacking. But I think we'll go with Grand Battle Plan next, just because we need that extra uh, research. By giving our military leaders time and resources to devise extensive plans for wars to come, we'll guarantee our successes. But I'm going to end this here for now, because I'm going to do, play this a little bit more off-screen and make sure that we do win. But hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. After I will make sure that we will massacre everyone in Shanghai. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.